Washington Firefighters Facebook post has caused outrage in Connecticut and across the country. Good evening, I'm Ann Nyberg. I'm Darren Kramer. That comment promoting violence against pit bulls has now led to death threats for the Torrington Fire Chief. News Ace Bob Wilson on this story tonight. Bob, a lot of people want that firefighter fired. Is that going to happen? It just will not happen. As a matter of fact, the, the chief says this happened back in November, those posts. There was a month-long investigation. Late December, the firefighter was disciplined, but a blogger got a hold of it, and it was leaked out nationwide, and some of the facts were changed, and now the death threats are coming into the fire department. Last November, Deputy Fire Marshal Richard Prince posted on a Facebook page called The Pitbull Propaganda Machine Revealed. Quote, you may be able to take the dog's eyesight away, by wrapping duct tape around his head and eyes. Quote, using a screwdriver or another tool may give you a chance to blind the mutant. And quote, a chainsaw would be messy, but effective. It was meant as satire, but. That's just wrong. I mean, pit bulls aren't bad, it's, it's, they're training. I don't think it's right for anybody to do that, honestly. Public official that just, you should be gone, fired, done. He was not fired. After a month and a half investigation, the deputy fire marshal was demoted for conduct on becoming a fire official and failure to follow police procedures. This caused an internet firestorm of inaccuracy. The chief says bloggers are reporting that he killed a pit bull, which is not true. There's a petition circulating out there trying to get him fired. I've received many phone calls in the last two days from people all across this nation with their concerns on that we didn't fire him, and we didn't do the proper discipline. Uh, there's no petition's going to change what we've done. We've punished the individual and we're moving forward. The fire chief says point blank what the firefighter did was wrong. However, he says what else is wrong are the death threats that his staff has been receiving. The death threats are so violent, so graphic, he says, they've had to add on extra security. Police have been trolling here at the firehouse as well as the firefighter's house because they want to make sure they keep everybody safe. It was to duct tape, you know, my firefighter and let him suffer and die. And that's not what he did to an animal. That's what he suggested you could do to stop an attack. So he's, they've you know, put his address out on the, on, the, on the web, and it's unfortunate. The chief says this Facebook post happened last November, and the discipline was handed out in December. He's not sure why someone leaked it to the media now, but all of the calls and emails have been consuming his time for the past couple of days. I apologize as a leader that this has happened, and one of my employees did it, but we're accepting responsibility and moving forward from here. And the chief wants to say that the post was how to defend against a pit bull attack. This, his firefighter never, ever hurt or insinuated hurting a, a pit bull. I'm Bob Wilson, reporting live in Hartford, News 8.